I've done a lot of interviews with people who have uh, devices for magnifying things on screen. Uh, back from the early days when my mother had a device that did that. But Low Vision International has some uh, tools that work on the device you already own that I thought would be really interesting to talk to Kimberly Klein about at Low Vision International. Thank you very much. We're glad to be here at CSUN. Um, as you mentioned, we do have devices that work for people that um, have existing devices. We always feel like you've already invested money in something. Let's just add to that. So our latest product is our um, iPad product. So if you have an iPad, iPad already. That's what you need because we actually don't sell iPads. We're just now connecting a distance camera that can do distance document and self-viewing to that. And with iPads, you cannot plug in a camera. So you have to connect via a router, so wirelessly. So we've made a box. It's kind of like, um, it's a long rectangular box. Like maybe a one shoe box. Yeah, very good, <laughs> one shoe box. And you'd have to have a pretty small foot. <laughs> and inside that box is the router system, and it's also the battery to power our distance camera. The unique so the camera is up on an articulated arm and looking down at a document in front of us. That is exactly here. right. And you could take the camera and rotate it out forward and open the actual lens to be able to get distance as well. The unique thing about this is a lot of times we have... Uh, all now it's of our, upside down by oh, the way we're doing it. <laughs> all of our products can be used... Well, let me just put it back on the stand. There we go. The iPad keeps now being too me, smart for us. Let me do this so it goes back So she's this. now pointing the camera down at the document, and then what, it, what do we see on screen here? We see a, a document that has several of our products on it, and then within that, just like a regular iPad, you can pinch and zoom, you can change the color, you can change the contrast. If it was like a column and you wanted to do a line marking, you could divide the columns. You also could um, do OCR, so you could take a picture of it, have it read it to you, and then if you want to own that text, you can then save it to a USB. You could save it as a PDF, you could save it as a WAV file, you could save it as RTF, so you could bring it up in almost anything. So again, you're using your existing iPad that you have. You're just connecting to our distance camera. The beauty of it is we sell a lot into schools, not just schools, but into schools, kiddos don't want to look different than anybody else. So this device could sit off on the teacher's desk other kids wouldn't even need to know they'd have it. Everybody has an iPad in the classroom, just like them. Then they can control everything through the software. Oh, hang on. Since it's Wi-Fi, that's why the device can sit on the teacher's desk. That's right. The kid is just sitting there with an iPad like everybody else next to them, but they're seeing it in a different way. They're seeing it how they need to see it, whatever color, whatever size. If they want to plug in a headset, they could even do OCR. Um, with permission from the teacher, um, they also can take pictures of the board. Um, if someone's doing a presentation with permission of everyone, they can video it so maybe they can come back and, and gain the information later because they can't take notes fast enough or they just are trying to focus on taking notes so they didn't really hear the presentation. So everything that somebody might need, not just school but work or even home, a home environment because iPads are so popular and that's why this is our brand new product that works with the iPad. Well, I'm really glad to see this because a lot of stuff I've seen at CSUN has been towards the Android environment because Android lets you do so much right. more to mutate the environment that Apple doesn't allow but this is a way around it, that, but for the device that's the most popular. Exactly. But we don't want to leave our Android brethren out, correct? No, no, absolutely not. Um, we have a, a company of their humanware, and they, you know, they do Android quite well. But, but you do Android uh, with this as well, no? No, with this is just the iPad. We do have a Windows solution. Oh, that's what it was. It was yeah. Windows, yes. So if somebody has a Windows, they don't have to use. We do sell the actual device with this one, but if they have their own. There's no reason for them to buy another one. So describe what we're looking at here. We are looking at a um, Surface Pro 8 tablet, which is 13-inch screen. And all we've done is take this tablet, we've added our software to it, and we built a stand. It's totally portable. It's under 9 pounds, and you have the ability to add anything. So if you're a Zoom text user or any type of screen reader user, you know, JAW, Supernova, any of those things, you have that ability to put this on here because this is Windows. So if I go out of our software, I'm now at the desktop. So you can add anything to it. You can and add, Part of this stand is this articulated camera. Where, Again, where's the lens? Because it looked like it was looking at me. But right here and then right there you can open it and go across the room as well. So let me... Okay, so she's just opened the lens on it so that it's... But it's looking at me. So I'm, I'm very confused. using this camera. There's three cameras. Oh, okay. 
So unlike unlike Apple, uh, Windows lets you attach a camera. It does. So it was using the internal camera on the on the tablet, Absolutely. and now it's looking at, at your camera. Yeah, and then you also can use the camera underneath. So we have three cameras. We have a downward facing camera, an upward facing camera, and our camera that's on the articulating arm that can do distance document self viewing. You have the ability with all of them to do video, take pictures, and to do OCR. So our cameras are 10x optical zoom, our distance cameras. So that means you could be sitting in a classroom, point at a board 15, 20 feet away, zoom in on it. If there's typewritten, you can do OCR from that far away. Oh, that is really, really cool. Well, I, there's so much I love about this. Using the device that you already own, number Absolutely. one. Absolutely. But, but also, the cost of the overhead projector sort of things, I don't know right. what you call that kind of device. Exactly. But the cost of that, a big part of that is the screen. And yes. maybe over time, that technology, uh, you dated. know, it gets dated. Yeah. So maybe you want a higher resolution camera or whatever. Now you can replace the tablet exactly. and you're not rebuying everything. Exactly. In fact, we've had this product out for about three years and when we first started we were using Surface Pro 5s. Now we're up to 8. So when we got up to 8, the stand's a little bigger because it's 13 inch versus 12.3. We had people that said, oh, we want to pull our tablet out and move it, but Kimberly, it's not going to fit. So we built the stand so you can extend it out. So you don't have to spend all the money to get everything new again. You just get the little kit to extend it. We can do it or you can do it. We can walk you through it. Oh, that's fantastic. This is really cool. So where would people find more about the oh, oh wait you had one more to show us um, so yes yeah, so there's this is you're using our existing camera so so again we believe if someone invested in one of our cameras again they should be able to utilize that this particular camera is called the Magnalink S it's similar to the other camera but the, instead of it being like a very bendable arm that goes up and down it's a little bit it's sort of like two hinges exactly so this product can fold all the way down. I've closed one part of it. I'm now closing the other part. It's 4.2 pounds. I'm very, very lightweight. That, it's really cool. Okay, so I'm holding this up in my arm that's, uh, what is that, like a foot and a half long yeah. and maybe eight inches wide. Yeah, one when finger. It folds up. I'm holding it with one finger. Exactly. So this is the portable unit. Uh, and does it still hook up to one of the uh, mini shoe boxes? Yeah, uh, no. You use it. Well, you can if you're using it with the iPad because you have to connect wirelessly. But if you're using it for PC or Mac, we give you the cable and you just plug right in and power from that. So PC, Mac, Chrome. If you're using it with the iPad, yes, you do need to use the actual power in the router, but PC, Mac, and Chrome, you just ca uh, cable it in, or you can plug this just into a monitor. So if you have a situation where you're all of a sudden somebody's doing a presentation, or you want to watch TV, and you don't want to sit in front of the TV because then your family can't see, you could point this camera. We, we support screen on screen. Our cameras are that good. And then you could just plug a little monitor in on your little side table and sit in your lazy boy, and everybody can see what they can see, but you can see the TV right up where you can see it. These are really innovative solutions, and that feels like really good hardware design. It's uh, yes. it's it's pretty, it's clean, um, simple yet elegant is what I would describe it as. Uh, so if people want to find out more about these devices, where would they go? Well, you can contact me directly. So the design, everything is hand-built in Sweden. We've been making uh, products over in Sweden for 46 years. Um, we weren't always in America. For the last seven years, we now have LVI America. I'm Kimberly Klein. I'm the director of sales. I oversee North America. So they can contact me directly at 702 468 6611, or you can go to our website, www.lvi, Lima Victor India, LVI America.com. Perfect. This is fantastic. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming by.